Boy, Christina's turned it on and double double watch cranking up a bit. Great awareness by Anna Hakalichka. Quick burst to get the ball back after a poor effort by New Mexico State. And then initially knows where Christina's going to be on the floor. Didn't hesitate, found Christina inside. And now a chance at a three point play and a chance for Christina to be the only, actually, be the only player on the floor to get in the double figures. And she does. Ten points, five rebounds. And how about this? We've played 19 minutes, and all of the Cougar points have come from the same two players, Ritter and Hoklitschka. Cougar zone defense as Soderquist gives off to Grays, and it's Talon Grays with a dead eye from the corner to set up an important final minute. The Aggies are 62% shooting from beyond the arc. Less is more. Eight attempts in this first half, five of eight. Efficient. Cougars are one for five on the flip side. Ada Dyron, she's had three three-point makes this season. And a foul on the Aggies. Here's Moncrief checking in with Rosh Webb. It's one of the things you admire about the philosophy that Brooke Atkinson has sort of undertook with the three-point game. If the three's not falling in a particular game, don't keep shooting. Attack inside. Try to create buckets without relying heavily on the three-point game. And when the shots are falling like they are this afternoon, keep attacking, keep going. Sometimes you're going to have those games. Chicago State had a moment, Sam, a couple of weeks ago in which the Cougars were above 60% with it. Six made three-pointers in the ball game. Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot, and coaches understand that it's sort of the, the flow of the game. And right now, I would not be surprised to see New Mexico State in the second half continue that onslaught from three-point territory. It's like yawning. It can be contagious, that three-point shooting. Hey, I, you almost yawned there, Sam. Be careful. <laughs> well, you got 25 seconds till your halftime nap. I got my cot already set up, ready to go. <laughs> There's a triple team. And the Cougars take the ball. How about that swarming defense on Grays? It's dangerous when you go triple team defensively, but the Cougars did a great job blocking the peripheral lanes to allow any sort of pass. And Brooke Atkinson is not happy. He's telling her, hey, some, sometimes maybe take a step back, take that extra dribble when you got three defenders in front of you as Chicago State doing a great job forcing turnovers on New Mexico State over the last few minutes. Tiffany Sardin, meanwhile, rallying the troops for these final 20 seconds. This is the quarter Chicago State wanted in the first. They're outscored 19-5. to They're holding their own. They're down three in quarter number two, 15-12. The Cougars need a big third or fourth, a big third quarter to try to get themselves back, back into within striking distance. But... Nice second quarter for Tiffany Sardin's Cougs. And there's the fourth-year head coach for New Mexico State, Brooke Atkinson, who was an assistant at New Mexico State as early as 2003, took a few trips away from Las Cruces, and now back running the show as there's a four-second differential here for Anusa. Screen from Terrell. Anusa, the Swede. Whips to Prince, the leading scorer, rattles out, and a wide-open offensive rebound for Taylor Gray. We've got confusion on the floor. We heard a whistle. We we heard the horn. We heard a lot. Tiffany no Sardin, to know Tiffany Sardin wasn't pleased with the Cougars not getting a rebound. Brooke Atkinson not pleased, thinking the Aggies were able to get a bucket. Find me one pleased person, Julio. Are you pleased? Uh, I am. Just thankful to be above ground is always a good day. Uh, yeah, our, our, our director, Chris Rouse, he says he's pleased. Gives me a thumbs up from down the hall. So we've got still some confusion as Tiffany Sarden chatting with one of the officials. This is going to be tough because I don't, I don't think the officials are going to go to the, the scores table to look at the video monitor. They're going to put the bucket back on the scoreboard so that the bucket will count for New Mexico State, so it's 36-17. And judging by Tiffany Sardin's reaction, she was not pleased. Winter Webb, no, from the left wing. A messy, displeasing finish to that first half. 
all New Mexico State as the Aggies lead by 19. It's been all Britter and Hoklitschka for the Cougars, and they got a lot of work to do in that locker room at halftime behind the curtain. So we'll take a quick break. On the other side, we'll welcome you back for halftime numbers and preview the second half in Chicago. This is Cougar basketball from the JCC on the WAC Digital Network.